what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here jamie lee curtis recently shared some potential plot details regarding where halloween kills could could potentially go basically she had an interview with uh hollywood life to promote her up another movie she's about to star in knives out with tony collette and that movie is actually getting rave reviews uh, Chris Evans also stars in it, but back on topic, she had an interview with Hollywood Life, or yeah, Hollywood Life, whatever, and she basically said that this new film, Halloween Kills, would be backtracking and unpacking the first movie, in this case she's referencing Halloween 1978. Now the reason that sheds details on what could potentially be happening in Halloween Kills is because that leaves breadcrumbs a bit because we know Lindsay Wallace is coming back, Tommy Doyle's coming back and she's saying that it's going to be exploring more of that trauma, it's going to be dealing with, it's bringing back those characters and we're going to be also Lonnie's coming back and we're going to be seeing how they were affected by the events that happened on October 31st, 1978. Now these are the words that Jamie Lee Curtis used. I'm kind of just summarizing it a bit. I'll try to leave a link down to the article uh, in the description or a video where she's actually saying all this stuff. But that is essentially what a lot of people have been talking about. I just wanted to put a quick video out addressing it. She basically is not, this isn't like anything big, but it's just a simple fact that, okay, now we know a little bit of something that we could expect, potentially expect. Expect to see how Tommy Doyle was affected by this, how Lindsay Wallace was protected by it or affected by it. And also you'll get to see how Lori is now affected by this and given the fact that she prepared so long for something and she failed to kind of, she failed to uh, take out Michael Myers. So we're gonna see how that, how she handles that. We still don't know whether or not this movie is gonna be set in the same night as the last movie, but here's something I want everyone to think of. They're bringing back the little, the little kid who was kind of the comedic relief in Halloween from 2018. He was a comedic relief in that movie. The fact that they're bringing him back kind of tells me a little something about where we could potentially see the movie going. Because if they're bringing him back, you kind of have to understand the fact that that kid, he's going to be growing. He's going to be growing. So you can't have Halloween Kills set so many years later and then say that, oh, he's this age. Maybe Halloween Kills will be set one year later and Halloween ends and set another year later. And then, yeah, of course, you can say he went up in age like that. But these time jumps the fact that he's coming back that kind of then now adds on to my confidence that halloween kills and halloween ends will be set in the same night as halloween 2018 the fact that he's coming back that kind of just makes me more confident that that's what's going to happen i still firmly believe that is the best bet that is the best choice they should do from a narrative standpoint because you don't have to worry about explaining or rationalizing why michael myers always comes back on halloween you don't have to worry about explaining where he was for so long what was he doing we don't have to worry about any of that stuff because because of the fact and this is exactly why halloween 1978 was intended to be a one-off movie because then you're kind of you're 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 kind of ruining the mystery of it all because now you have to worry about well why is he always doing this why is he always doing that so by them setting halloween kills and halloween ends in the same night you don't have to worry about any of that stuff that the previous sequels had issues with this this irrational explanation as to why he was gone for this amount of time or that amount of time as i've stated plenty of times in the past on other videos halloween h2o is my favorite one it's not the best one out of the bunch but it is my personal favorite i'm not saying it's better compared to halloween 2 from 1981 or anything but that's just my favorite i'm capable of having a favorite and then still recognizing that it is not superior over another film that's my favorite halloween movie but the biggest issue with halloween h2o is where was michael myers for 20 years we don't even know where he was for 20 years He's just back. Okay, why did he wait for 20 years? What was he doing? Who was he messing with? What was going on? Why was no one able to track him down? What was he doing? That type of stuff, I understand we don't need to know that, but it's the simple fact. It's not even a fact that we don't need to know it. It's just a, it's just a case of you doing that. You're, you're putting this narrative piece here and you're giving audiences things to question now versus setting it in the same night and now not having to worry about 
this being an issue, that being an issue, all this other stuff. By just setting Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends in the same night, that's going to do them a lot of a lot of favors, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about Jamie Lee Curtis. Comments down in the comment section below. What else do you think that Halloween Kills could potentially be about? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications to never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media account so you can message me there. So let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.